Yet another Iraqi family robbed of their loved one. This time, it was 29-year-old Riham Yaqub. Seen as an icon of anti-corruption protest, the young doctor and activist was killed on August 19th in the southern province of Basra by unidentified gunmen. But it's not just Riham. Iraq's young activists are under threat. Her killing was a third such attack in a week. She was a very strong woman, uh, demanding the all people rights, not not just about the women rights. She has a lot of dream. Sometime I I uh, I said to Riham, why do you want uh, escape country? Why why do you want to go outside Iraq? You will be more succeed. Uh, and she say no. I'm here. I want to stay more in Iraq. I want to achieve my dreams also inside Iraq, not outside. There has been a rise in assassinations targeting civil rights activists in the country. On August 14, 30-year-old Tahseen Usama was shot dead while traveling in a car. In July, Iraqi security expert Husham Al Hashimi, an outspoken critic of Iran-backed militias in Iraq, was killed outside his home in Baghdad. His life had been threatened by the militias. According to Iraq's Independent High Commission for Human Rights, there were six assassination attempts targeting activists in the month of August alone. The commission also recorded 16 attempted targeted killings since October 2019. The Iran-backed militia groups are widely suspected of being behind the attacks. She received multiple threats, maybe threats by phone, messages, uh, social media threats, and also in-person threats. But she said they they can't do anything. They can't kill me because I'm strong. That's what she was telling people. She know very well she was in risk. Um, as I know also. Riham closely she was also my friend in Basra because she and some of the women activists uh, they were attending some workshop in the US uh, consulate in Basra Iranian Maher agency uh, posted some photos about Riham and other activists in Basra and accused them linked to the US they are working as an agents but that's not real that's wrong People in Iraq are angry. For each killing there are demonstrations demanding justice. Since October 2019 the country has seen massive anti-government protests as Iraqis express their anger at endemic corruption, high unemployment and dire public services. But it's not just these issues. Demonstrators are also demanding an end to Iranian influence in Iraqi affairs. Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa Al-Qazimi is attempting to hold the militias accountable. Both the UN and the US are backing his efforts. On August 21, protesters set fire to Parliament's local office in Basra. A day later, protesters in the southern city of Nasiriyah used bulldozers to demolish offices of Iran-backed parties. But for Riham's family, the loss is too much to bear. احنا في صدمة لحد الآن ما ما مستوعبين الحالة يعني ما نتوقع إنه أربع شابات في سيارة يتم اغتيال واحدة من الأبناء حالة الرعب اللي صارت عندهم والصدمة اللي صارت عندنا والله ما أقدر يعني أعبر لك عنها.